Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Thursday. Happy 4th of July, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'm Gigi. This is Walking 1K with Gigi. I am out here early because they say it's going to be a hot 4th of July day. So I want to get out here and get my walk on. Oh my goodness. Good morning, good morning. Y'all know what I'm going to say. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it, especially on this day that we are celebrating called the 4th of July. Oh, I want to share a special gem nugget with you today. My gem nugget is inspired by a dear friend of me and my husband. Uh, we serve together as ministers at First Baptist Church, South Portsmouth. And this is a saying by the late Reverend James Womack. And this is my gem nugget for the day. The blood <laughs> done signed my name. Well, you know, John 8, 36 says, If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. As I think about this celebration that we celebrate, call Independence Day. And this gives me a chance to teach and give everybody some history about this day. We celebrate it on July the 4th because on July the 4th, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was signed by the Founding Fathers declaring that this country, the United States of America, was free from the rule of Great Britain. All right, that's why we celebrate cookouts, fireworks, we are free. However, all of us were not free. Black Americans were not free, although the nation was free because we were in slavery. So in um, 1863, a man named President Abraham Lincoln signed what was called the, Decla uh, the Emancipation Proclamation that declared that all the slaves were free, although there was still a few people in Texas that didn't find out in 1863 that they was free until June 19, 1865, just maybe two and a half years later. But anyway, something was always signed to, to declare that, that people are free. You know, we as Christians, we actually celebrate two birthdays. We celebrate um, the day that we were born most of the time, and who doesn't like a good celebration? birthday celebration and then we have another celebration when we are born again now you may not remember uh, the exact date and time like it would be on a birth certificate that you were born again I, I know I was born again on uh, in uh, 1980 I don't know the exact month and day because I know it was a Friday night when I was a junior in college, but I know the year was 1980 that I was born again. And you know, um, the first birth, even when, when we are born, we have what is called a birth certificate because the only way that I know that I was born in 1959 is from what my parents told me. And from the birth certificate, and you know, in order for the birth certificate to be official that says that you were born, it has to be signed by the doctor. <laughs> the doctor that did the delivery. Why do I know this? Because I was a vital statistics uh, clerk for 10 years and I processed um, an uh, 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 average of 3,000 birth certificates a year. 
at Centero Norfolk General Hospital. And my biggest responsibility, after I got all the information, what they, they was gonna name the baby and everything, I had to get each and every last one of those birth certificates signed by the doctor that delivered the baby. The birth certificate was not official until it was signed by the doctor. And so when we were born again, what, what uh, made it official was when Jesus signed our name. <laughs> it's like Reverend Walmart used to say, the blood done sign my name. And that made it official. That's why I love what John 8.36 says, if the Son therefore shall make you free. You are free indeed. You are official. You are free. That's, that's like when those different documents were signed. The Declaration of Independence. The uh, Emancipation Proclamation. Juneteenth. Your birth certificate. That made it official. Because the blood mm, 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 done signed your name. Aren't you glad that the blood signed your name and made you officially free? Free from the chains of sin and death. Oh my goodness. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. So happy, happy Independence Day. Happy 4th of July. Oh, your date might have been another date. Maybe a happy, happy August 13th. Happy December the 1st. Happy February the 3rd. I don't know what it was, but he who the Son sets free is free indeed and guess what the blood huh, done signed your name the blood huh, has made it official because you have been free from the chains of sin and death oh my goodness about to shout on that thing it ain't nothing like being free oh my goodness well i want to remind you this is thursday and that means tonight at 7 p.m you need to join my husband, Pastor James E. Gilmore Sr., for a life study at 7 p.m. I'm sure he's going to have a word that's gonna, that you can apply to your everyday life and probably will set you free, too. But anyway, I don't know what he's going to share tonight, but please tune in at 7 p.m. for life study. Oh, I'm so glad that the blood done signed my name. The blood done made me officially free. Good gracious. Oh, my goodness. That'll preach right there. But anyway, uh, tune in tonight. And don't forget to subscribe to the Gem Nugget channel. I just want to say good morning to all of you that watch me do this walk. And maybe you're even walking with me uh, these mornings from Kenya, from Sweden, from Canada, from Japan, from the good old United States of America and all over. But y'all have a great uh, 4th of July um, day, weekend. Be safe. If you're going to the beach, stay safe. Uh, to Say hi glory. to God be the glory. Happy Fourth of July. I know, I know it's in the background. You know that. To God be the glory. All right, and have a good Fourth of July. All right, but anyway, He who the Son has set free is free indeed. Y'all have a blessed day. See you next time. Stay cool.